Welcome back bandits, I'm Red Bandit and this is your ranch for the latest and greatest Red Dead Redemption 2 information, speculation and more. So it's been a while since we did an update on the Red Dead Redemption 2 map so I think it's about time we go through the map and we talk about all of the areas that have been confirmed. In the last week or so it has been confirmed or almost confirmed should we say that the old map from Red Dead Redemption 1 will be returning to the game. Now the article that stated the old map was going to be returning, Rockstar Games contacted them and got them to retract the statement. And we know that Armadillo is definitely returning and Armadillo was part of New Austin from Red Dead Redemption 1. So if New Austin is returning, um, it wouldn't really make much sense for New Evo Pareso to not return either. So that would kind of be our first indication there that uh, Red Dead Redemption 1's complete map will be returning. But again, like I said, we don't know for sure just yet so we're just going to go on the fact that we know that new austin is returning into the game so while we're on that topic why don't we just start there anyway from the get-go because i think starting on that considering it's new information is probably the best way to go so in the scene in gameplay trailer 2 where we saw the sheriff being shot in the doorway of the armadillo sheriff office that is of course taking place in armadillo armadillo being in new austin from red dead redemption 1 now with that information in our hands and within our grasp we can obviously then get that places like Tumbleweed, Thieves Landing, Pikes Basin, all of those places will be returning. I don't see why they wouldn't return considering it's in the same area as Armadillo, unless of course Armadillo is somewhere where maybe the prologue takes place, but we already know that that isn't the case and that Blackwater will serve part of the prologue, and that is the information that was confirmed a long, long time ago now. So of course, West Elizabeth will be in the game featuring places such as the Great Plains, Blackwater, and of course, Tall Trees. Now we may have seen in some brief gameplay of Tall Trees the other day in the gameplay trailer with Arthur Morgan taking cover behind this cabin here but it's unconfirmed at this point in time. Something we've definitely seen is Blackwater. We have seen plenty of gameplay coming from Blackwater and we've also seen the Lone Tree in Great Plains. So we know that the game will be starting somewhere around this area. Again that's no spoilers, that's just something Rockstar Games have confirmed. So we can definitely assume that this is going to be the area where the game will start from. We don't know Know exactly where in this area or, or how or why but we know that the game will probably branch out from this particular bottom left hand area of the map so we'll go around in a clockwise fashion right around to again the middle in the heartlands so we can work around this at the right angle considering the game does start in blackwater again that's not a spoiler that's something rockstar games have confirmed they actually state in the description of the game that the game starts in blackwater we don't know if it's the first mission so that's obviously that where the spoiler don't come in but we know that somewhere at the start of the game Blackwater's involved and the gang flee to the mountains again that's not a story spoiler that's what Rockstar Games have confirmed so we can then imagine that if we look at Blackwater we'll probably be heading north west up here towards the big valley so first we have Strawberry now Strawberry is a town near the bottom area of the mountains in the game and this area particular in the game is somewhere we haven't really seen much of so we're not going to be covering this area too much in detail the one thing we do know for sure is that Little Creek is the creek that we've seen throughout various gameplay trailers, specifically in gameplay trailer 1. We haven't seen it recently, so we don't know how much that has changed, but we definitely know that that is the confirmed location. As we rotate more clockwise towards the Grizzlies, it says in brackets their intro, which is where I was coming into earlier in my statement a few minutes ago where I said the game probably goes from Blackwater up to the Grizzlies. That would make sense that this is the mountainous area of the game. I think we've seen various screenshots of the Grizzlies now. I'll put some gameplay in the background of some examples where I think the Grizzlies will take place. So of course the entire north and northwestern section of the map is definitely going to be very mountainous areas in the game. I believe myself that this iron cloud area is probably going to be the like the highest part that we can reach in the game. As you can see near the Grizzlies it does say an area called the loft which may be a reference to the area being the highest point in the game. Of course a loft in the UK is something we refer to being above the house you know it's like the attic for Americans and so on and so forth so it would make sense that this area called the loft is probably
probably one of the highest mountains in the game and the Grizzlies will be home to some of the highest peaks in the game that we've seen before. Now moving a little bit more clockwise, we can see the Van Horn trading post. Now Van Horn is definitely an area we've seen quite a lot of and this is going to be a very derelict, destroyed and gritty nitty town where you can find various items for a lot cheaper prices than in the bigger towns and it's definitely going to be an area a little bit like Thieves Landing, although this will be the equivalent of Thieves Landing perhaps more northern area of the map. When you go slightly south of that you can see Annersburg. Now we know Annersburg is home to a mine and I do believe that this screenshot right here or this little clip from the trailer was taken from Annersburg itself. We can see down there into the valley and we can see that the Annersburg mine is taking place down below. So we have the Van Horn trading post and just south of that we're going to find the Annersburg mines. We don't really know too much about the areas just immediately west of that because of course not a lot of this has been confirmed. Something we do know a little bit more west from here and a slightly more southern is the Cumberland Forest. Now the Cumberland Forest is going to be the big forest in the game, hence the name. Now I believe this forest has been based off of the California Red Tree Forest or the Red Forest, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not definitely a remake of that, it's not directly related to it or influenced by it, but it definitely looks very similar in terms of how the trees are placed, how the woods looks and the feel that it gives off. And this is going to definitely be an area that's going to be very rural and far away from any civilizations. Valentine is going to be the small town in the game that we've heard a ton about. We know there's gun shops, we know that there's going to be banks in Valentine, we know there's going to be a ton of stuff. There's going to be a church tower that we've seen a lot in the game and Valentine is sort of an area that Rockstar Games are focusing very heavily upon during the latest gameplay trailers and information. This is basically the hot spot where a lot of the previews for Red Dead Redemption 2 have taken place. Just west of that in the Dakota River that's where we're going to find that waterfall that we saw in the gameplay trailer particularly if you look at where the uh, the pathway here just where it says Dakota just above the letter A in the river you can see a pathway well that's probably where that waterfall takes place what we've seen in the gameplay trailers as well so pretty much confirmed that the Dakota River is going to be very close to Valentine and that's where that waterfall takes place that we've seen throughout the gameplays and that's where I reiterate my statement where a ton of gameplay has taken place just in this tiny area of the map. So as we go slightly more south downwards, unfortunately we're going to have to miss a lot of this eastern section of the map because we simply do not know a lot about this area. Sadly we don't. However I'll touch on the penitentiary in a short while. But as we go more south we see the town of Rhodes, the southern town of Rhodes in the Scarlet Meadows area of the game. Now Rhodes is also an area we've seen quite frequently throughout gameplays and screenshots and this is going to be a slightly more modernized village or town but it's definitely not going to be anything considering the size of Blackwater or New Bordeaux aka Saint Denis or Saint Denis whatever you want to say. So Rhodes is probably going to be the very first or closest town shall I say to the big city in the game. So it's definitely going to have more connections than some of the further out rural towns in the game. Definitely Rhodes is going to be one of the civilized areas that's changing the most drastically during the game. Now if you look carefully just northeast of that we can see Lagras or Lagra. Now Lagra is going to be a swampy area in the game and this swampy area is heavily based on New Orleans in real life because New Bordeaux down here has been now renamed to Saint Denis. Saint Denis or Saint Denis aka taking its name from French origin. We know that this big area of the map here is based on New Orleans or at least takes references from that. So that's why the Lagrasse area in the game or Lagra is going to be a swampy area and that has also been confirmed. So then as we move the farthest southeastern on the map we have New Bordeaux and New Bordeaux is going to be home to Saint Denis or Saint Denis as I mentioned previously. Forget the name New Bordeaux because that's pretty much been crossed out now. We know that this is definitely the area of Saint Denis that we're looking at right here and I have a nice remake of the Saint Denis or Saint Denis map right here on screen for you guys created by a fan over on the GTA forums. So I think Saint Denis is definitely going to be the biggest town in the game and Rhodes will probably follow shortly after that because it's very in close proximity to it. It's got great connections over the river to Blackwater. This southern area of the map is definitely going to be the more progressive evolving area of the map. As we go more northern the areas are going to get more and more rural as we continue until of course we hit the mountains and the borders of the map. Now like I said we will touch 
very briefly on this penitentiary here. We don't know a lot about the penitentiary. However, we have seen in the gameplay trailer that there were two prisoners fighting in their prison uniform. That was a side activity that Arthur Morgan can participate in. So we don't know a lot about this penitentiary island, whether you can visit it or not. It definitely looks like that river is going to be a big one to cross that we will require a boat in order to reach it. And we know that in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can be wanted dead or alive. So I'm starting to think that if you commit very, very terrible crimes, can you get arrested and taken to this penitentiary island and then we've got to break out of it? That would be really, really awesome. But again, we don't know for sure. So that's basically a brief overview of all the areas that have been confirmed. Of course, in the middle of this, there's tons and tons of things scattered around. Places like the McLean's house, the Mossy Flats, the Emerald Ranch, and a ton of other areas that we don't really have much confirmation on as at the moment. Coming back to the Red Dead Redemption 1 map, we haven't actually had Mexico confirmed either just yet. We've definitely had New Austin confirmed. The uh, Nuevo Paraiso, or the Mexico area of the game, was confirmed, but Rockstar Games forced the art to retract their statement. Now this happens very commonly, maybe they did slip up, but I don't see why they'd include New Austin and not Mexico in the game either. It would definitely make that the largest Rockstar Games map they've ever created and the most ambitious, but I don't really want to comment on that anymore because again, like I said, it's not confirmed. Let me know down in the comment section below if I missed any crucial areas out in this and what's your favorite area so far that's been described throughout the gameplay trailers and the screenshots for Red Dead Redemption 2. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief recap of the Red Dead Redemption 2 map. If any necessary changes are required to this update or this video, then I will re-upload an updated version of that. Anyway guys, stay cool, stay awesome, and I hope you...